Father, when you look upon our hearts, I pray that you would see in us that saving faith in Jesus Christ. Father, when you look upon us and you look upon the heart, you don't just look upon the exterior. I pray that you'd see that we are those who have cast ourselves upon him and are trusting him alone for the forgiveness of our sins. Father, help us not to trust anyone or anything else but Jesus Christ alone, because we know that if we do this, we will never be put to shame. This we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to the Spurgeon's Devotional Bible, a Christian podcast desiring to honour the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the, uh, the devotion for August the 17th. The Lord looketh on the heart. 1 Samuel 16 verses 1 and 4 to 14 and 22 and 23. And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long wilt thou mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Fill thine horn with oil, and go, I will send thee to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided me a king among his sons. Spurgeon says it was both natural and right that the prophet should lament Saul's sin, but he must not repine at the Lord's punishment of him, but rather bestir himself to be God's messenger to the better king, who would one day prove a great blessing to Israel. We must lament that any should so sin as to incur God's anger, but at his judgments upon them we must not rebel, for the judge of all the earth must do right. When the wicked are cast into hell, the saints in heaven do not murmur out of pity to the offenders, but in obedient sympathy with the most holy God they adore with reverential awe. And I just add that's a very sobering lesson to us. Verse 4. And Samuel did that which was which the Lord spake, and came to Bethlehem. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons, and called them to the sacrifice. And it came to pass, when they were come, that he looked on Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. Spurgeon says, Even prophets err when they judge by appearances. Men are not to be valued by their looks, but by their hearts. Verse 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, nor on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab, and made him pass before Samuel. And he said, Neither hath the Lord chosen this. Then Jesse made Shammah to pass by, and he said, Neither hath the Lord chosen this. Again Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, The Lord hath not chosen these. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Are here all thy children? And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he be come hither. Spurgeon says, He who was retiring and pious was but little esteemed at home. Parents make great mistakes when they undertake good, undervalue good children because they do not happen to be brilliant and pushing. Despised ones should be comforted when they remember that the Lord knows all about them and will bring them forward in due time. Verily there are last who shall be first. Verse 12. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and with all of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. Spurgeon says, The horn of oil indicated plenteous grace. We all need the power of the Holy Spirit. May he dwell in us richly. Then shall we be kings and priests unto God. Scripture says, So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. But the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. Spurgeon says, We have seen what divine love did for David, and we now learn what divine anger did for Saul. The one thing most needful above all others is the favour of the Lord. Have that and we are blessed. Be without it and we are miserable. Verse 22. And Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Let David, I pray thee, stand before me, for he hath found favour in my sight. And it came to pass, when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul, that David took a harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. Spurgeon says Saul was probably a monomaniac through remorse of conscience and needed music to relieve his mind. How much happier was the shepherd youth who had music in his heart and was filled with the good spirit. Spirit, God grant that we may live in the fear of God 
and so enjoy abiding peace, for even in this life sinful conduct is the root of countless ills. The hymn is, But few among the carnal wise, but few of nobler race, obtain the favour of thine eyes, almighty King of grace. Nature has all her glories lost, when brought before thy throne. No flesh shall in thy presence boast, but in the Lord alone. Amen. 